Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to capitalize the first letter of each word in a string containing multiple words. So in this R tutorial I'm going to use an example string that you can see here in line one of the code. So if you run this code, you will see that a new data object appears here at the top right of our R studio and this um, data object contains our character string that you also can print here to the RStudio console at the bottom. And as you can see, this character string simply contains the words, hello, this is my string. So as you can see, all the letters of this character string are in lowercase. So let's assume that we want to capitalize the first letter of each word in this string. Then we could do that in several ways. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you three different examples how to do that. So in the first example that you can see here, starting at line three of the code, I'm going to use the G sub function. This is a function which is already provided by the basic installation of R programming. And uh, as you can see here in lines four to six with these lines of code, we can capitalize the first letter of each word in our character string, as you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console. Uh, so, this, so this is working already, but what you also can see is that this code here is quite complex. I'm uh, putting this R code in the description of this video, so you could copy it from there. But as you can see, it's relatively complicated to capitalize the first letter of each word by using functions of the of the base installation of R. And for that reason, um, there are several packages, add-on packages for the R programming language, which provide easier solutions for the capitalization of the first letter of each word. And uh, this is what I'm going to show you in the next examples. So in example two, starting at line eight of the code, I'm going to use the stringy package and we can install and load the package to our RStudio, as you can see here in line nine and 10 of the code. Um, I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it here with line 10 of the code. And uh, then we can use the three trans to title function, as you can see here in line 12 of the code. And um, all we have to do here is to specify our string, our example string that we have created in the beginning within this function. So let's run this. And now, as you can see, this is exactly the same output as of the G sub function in example one, but this time the um, capitalization of the first letter was much easier than before. So another example that I want to show you is uh, starting here at line 15 of the code and this example relies on the tools package. Again we can install and load the package as you can see here in line 16 and 17 of the code. I also have installed this package already so I'm just going to load it. And uh, the tools package contains the to title case function. And uh, as you can see here in line 19 of the code, um, as in example two, you simply have to specify the character string that you want to capitalize within the to title case function. So if you run this line of code, you can see the output here at the bottom. And uh, here you can actually see a difference compared to the previous two examples, because this time only the only some of the words are capitalized. So some fill words uh, like this or is are not capitalized. Yeah, so I think this is a matter of taste if you prefer to use uh, the stringy package as I have shown in example two or the tools package as I have shown in example three. However, as you have seen, there are several alternatives to the base installation of R, which are much easier than the G sub function. 
Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want, want to learn more um, on the capitalization of letters in character strings in R, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on this topic and in this tutorial I'm explaining the R code of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of this video so you could check it out there and if you have liked the video of course I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications about videos that I'm releasing in future. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.